Lauren and I are hiking the Needle Creek Trail, hiking up the Chicago Basin. This morning was really fun. We rode a real old-fashioned coal-fired steam-powered locomotive. From Durango, up a couple hours, maybe 20-30 miles, to what they call the Needleton area. They dropped us off, loaded our packs for us. And then now we're going to spend four days backpacking. They say, perhaps unfortunately, that we're going to get a lot of rain and snow. It'll be the first big, first big snow of the year. I'm hoping to do three or four 14ers up there. One of them would be pretty easy in the snow, the others would be pretty hard. So we'll have to see how this goes. Mount Eolus, I am seriously burning daylight. There's 45 minutes of light left. I've got a thousand foot left to go. So I'm gonna keep on going. Just wanted to show you where I am headed. This next section is called the Catwalk. Followed, I believe, by the North Ridge. I'm on top of Mount Eolus. I need to get the heck off this mountain because it's getting dark and it's a fourth class descent. Turn around real quick and get out of Dodge. It is a sea of San Juan Peaks. There is no finer view in Colorado than this. This is it. The ceiling is lowering too. They're expecting snow. I can see it. It is coming right now. There's Arrow and Vestal Peaks. And tomorrow's goals, Sunlight and Wyndham. I am really, truly hurrying down. Clouds are coming in. I was on that ridge 12 minutes ago. That is fourth class climbing, folks. I am very glad that I'm not there now. I'm trying to concentrate. The clouds are rolling in so fast, I want to lose the trail. Pretty hard to do this at night. And night is nearly upon us. Despite the weather, we're in Chicago Basin, and we're going to try and do two 14ers today. To the left of the pointed peak that makes up the left-hand side of the V, just obscured by the, the clouds, is Sunlight Peak. That's our first goal for today. Then the left-hand side of the V is Peak 18. We will not be climbing that. The right-hand side of the V is made up of Wyndham Peak, and that we do intend to climb. Last night, we camped in that group of trees there. We did pitch a tent. We're very grateful for it. So I'm on Sunlight Peak right now and I'm having a devil of a time trying to figure out how to get on top. Because as you can see, there is no visibility. I believe this is the route right here. We'll give it a go. I tried around to the viewer's right about two minutes ago. That didn't go, not safely at least. So hopefully this is it. I am 25 feet from the summit of sunlight. I'm gonna call it quits. The snow is starting to get heavier, and I wanna get killed. This is Upper Chicago Basin. A beautiful, snowy, rainy, cold day. September 10th, 2013. Just climbed Sunlight Peak. I didn't tag the summit itself. I went up to the summit block. I know a lot of people do that. I was really hoping to get to the top, and. I will uh, do the actual bouldering move another day and maybe that handstand, but I tagged the block, that's enough for me. So down I go. 
And the next is Wyndham Peak, which Lauren is on right now. Nothing quite like September in the Rockies. There's uh, the rest of my route up Wyndham Peak. Having a blast. It might not be warm outside, it might not be dry outside, but I'm warm enough and dry enough in my little Vortex cocoon. Yep, it's a beautiful day. Good day to be climbing mountains. You yeah, probably think I'm crazy, but I'm well within my element. I'm comfortable, I'm having a good time. That is the summit of Wyndham. I'll be there in five minutes. Nothing like Wyndham in a whiteout. Absolutely beautiful. I was wondering why when I was 20 feet away from the summit of Wyndham, I didn't do any video on the top. Well, I tagged the top, I went to open my backpack, and I heard a buzzing sound. The rocks were buzzing with static electricity, which means they likely imminent discharge of lightning. So I tagged the summit and got the heck off as fast as I possibly could and holding a uh, metal tripod, which is what I have my GoPro mounted on, would have been a very bad idea. I'm still only about 200 yards away, so I'm going to keep moving here. The snow doesn't scare me. I can work my way through this just being careful, but lightning will kill you instantly. So, see you guys soon and uh, on my way down the mountain. These are my conditions. Good old fashioned whiteout. You can still make up the cairns though, there, there, there. Just slow and steady, it's actually not that bad. Ah, fine weather. Not the worst part of Wyndham Peak, no more buzzing rock. 